All right, what's up guys? Um, it is the end of 2023, finally. And I figured everyone's doing their best of 2023 um, and whatnot. I figured I'd give you guys a top five of 2023 type video, just real quick one today. Uh, just show you guys five things that I really liked uh, that popped up in the industry this year or that I acquired this year actually um, before we get into it gotta thank Brownells biggest supporter of the channel by far uh, got some Brownells stuff in here for my top five so as always link is down below to them check them out use code BOP10 it's gonna save you 10% on orders over 150 and yeah let's just get right into this uh, let's not make this a long one so Top five. Um, these are not in any particular order. So uh, I do really like the first one though. Um, and then I got two little uh, bonus mentions at the end um, that I didn't think kind of fit into the category correctly, but yeah. So number one is going to be the Brownells BRN4. If you don't know, I'll give you a quick rundown. It's an HK416 that's not an HK416. Uh, it's all 416 compatible parts. So if you have a 416 and you need anything, you can buy the Brownells version of it and use it. So uh, same thing if you have some HK stuff you want to use, you can put it on the Brownells, the BRN4 receiver, whatever. Uh, this is a really cool gun. Um, Short stroke piston, awesome. Piston guns are really cool. They're heavy, especially when they're 14.5, but I like 14.5. It's a good length. Uh, you can still do everything you wanna do with it. And yeah, so I figured why not? We'll come out here, do some shooting with it real quick. Um, my targets are completely, completely fucked up, but we're still gonna shoot them. So let's shoot the Brownells. We are in four. Uh, let me turn my ear pro on. It's been a while since I've shot this. I really like this though, this setup. Um, it's definitely not zero either. as we can see very cool gun it's such a flat shooting gun i do have a surefire uh three prong war comp on it super simple setup i really like this gun um yeah so that is my pick number one the brn4 from brown else my pick number two is going to be the law eric with the folder so i think this little combo right here is pretty damn cool. Uh, obviously, it allows your rifle to be folded and shoot and whatnot. Which, yes, that's a very... Um, how do you describe it? It's a very particular thing uh, to want to shoot a gun folded. But, nonetheless, very cool. Um, I was a little skeptical on this at first, I'll be honest. But, once having it using it i still want to get more rounds on it before i do like a full review on this but so far it's been really cool uh it does require a break-in period um which they do state that but overall i think it's a pretty cool setup so let's uh let's shoot it a little bit make sure my eotech's on i've been having issues with this mag There we go. All 
right, let's see what happens. Um, let's shoot it folded, because that's what the whole purpose of the Eric is. All right, Laser, where are you? There we go. The Law Eric. Law Eric and the Law Folder, obviously from the Law Tactical. Pretty cool stuff. Um, check those out. They're pretty cool. Alrighty, guys. Um, next up on the list is going to be the, the stuff from Unity Tactical. Uh, I really dig this stuff. Um, at first I was, again, very skeptical. 2.26, that's a pretty high optic uh, offset. But the selling point for it for me is the flip to center uh, Omni magnifier mount. I think this is a really cool setup. I, that's the only reason I never wanted to run a magnifier was because I didn't want it hanging off the side, basically. So Unity has this, obviously. That's when I started picking up the mounts. Um, 2.26 is a good optic height for if you're doing like night vision stuff. So I've been doing some night vision stuff lately and I really dig it. So I don't really know if we need to shoot this, uh, but we can just for the hell of it. I can also try to show you guys the, uh, maybe, there we go. So you can see there. And then, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this. But you get the point. Uh, it's a very good sight picture, even with this flip down in the center. And I like it. So, obviously, we don't need to be magnified right here. I just think it's a cool system that they're doing. And, yeah. Check them out. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little thing they got going here. So, next product is going to be this is something a little different. Next one is from Victos. That being the, it's called the Taculus, Taculus MX chest rig. So this is a micro chest rig. Um, I love this thing. This thing is so sick for, if you just want to have a few mags and some stuff on you, you don't want this whole get up on you. This is really cool. Uh, it's pretty cheap too. I think it's like a hundred bucks. Something like that. It's pretty damn cheap. Um, I believe it comes with all your loops and everything. Uh, if you want to use those, you don't have to. And then... The way that it's sized, it'll run like all mags, basically. So there's like a, a stretch to these. So you can run like 7.62 mags, I believe. You'd have to double check this, but I'm pretty sure you can run like any mag you want in these. Uh, it does have a nice front. Uh, I used it for med stuff. It's nice. It's got the loops and everything in it. And it's perfect for that. You can basically put an IFAC and then whatever else you want to throw in there. Use your loops and everything. Nice and organized. Um, does have Molly front. You can see I used some, uh, uh, what are these called? I forget what they're called. But I use those to hold the tourniquet and everything. Cool thing about this is it does have a magnetic... Um, they work a lot better when it's on, but these magnetic straps. So the way I always left mine was like this, leave it with a, these three done. And then all you got to do, bring this guy up when it's on you and you just set it on there. 
and it just hooks up. So pretty damn cool. Um, you do have a small Molly panel on the back. That was nice because I used one of the one of the uh, Unity Spark cages, and I can put a Unity Spark in there if I want either IR or visible light beacon. That way, nobody shoots me. But yeah, overall, this is a very cool product. I used it at a uh, the Blackout Two Gun match recently and it was great fantastic so very cool alrighty guys so we've done our top four now we're down to the top five or the last one number five it's gonna be the Nelson Precision manufacturing Glock 44 slide so I was pretty pumped when I first seen these um, I finally got a hold of one they were nice enough to send one out and I've been running it, and let's all be honest, the Glock 44, that's a finicky thing to begin with. So getting one of these and it working pretty damn good was a, it was like a breath of fresh air. Um, if you don't know, aluminum slide cut for your optics. Um, obviously the Glock 44 OEM slide you cannot mount optics to. I believe this comes in actually lighter than the OEM slide. So pretty cool. Um, yeah, nice, beautiful work on it. All the machining on it's awesome. They do some really cool stuff over there. You can find them online or on uh, Instagram as well. Uh, I always try to share their stuff when I see it because just a cool company. So let's see if this thing runs. Um, I left all my 22 up at my barn. So, luckily I found some here on the ground. I think we got, we got six rounds. So, we will see, we'll see if it runs. Hopefully it does. It'll be a bad look if it doesn't. Oof. Not off to a good start. It is what it is when you're picking up your ammo off the ground in the woods. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what 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 you want to expect, but I'll lay in some clips right now of this thing. Um, I love it. It's awesome. The Glock 44 is a fun, just plinking gun. I like using it for that. Some people like using it to train as if they were using their G19. I don't do that, but hey, if you're doing it, that's awesome. At least you're doing something. So it's better than most people. Check them out. Pretty cool setup. Um, all right, last but not least, let's talk about the honorable mentions. Um, and the only reason that they're going to be mentions is because, well, first, uh, Midwest Industries. I wanted to mention, I wanted to make one of the Midwest Industries rails be my one of my picks we, we have a midwest industries uh 416 rail right here i've got the two-piece drop in or two-piece uh free float on my colt upper i have the uh just standard quad rail uh 10 inch quad rail that i cut up to use with the jp enterprise adjustable a2s uh gas block but i couldn't really single it out to one so I just wanted to mention basically all of the Midwest Industries rails. These things are sick. Uh, all my buddies have them, and they, they're just great. They're awesome rails. They're pretty well priced compared to, I mean, other high-quality rails. And, yeah, I mean, they hold zero really well. Uh, I do have the, the Night Fighter upper as well. That has their Night Fighter rail on it. Um, I forgot to mention that, but awesome rails. I really like them. Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention them because they're an awesome, awesome company as well. They help out a lot and we dig them.
And last but not least, again, not in any particular order, um, but it's just another product that it's kind of older. I mean, it's not like a new thing, but it's new to me um, as far as this year goes. Uh, that being the mod light stuff. So I have this mod light. Uh, this is actually a PLH V2. The one I really would mention if I was adding them into the top five would be the OKW. I love the OKW head. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It's an awesome rifle head. And yeah, I mean, I just love the modularity of the mod light system. Uh, using all the Surefire stuff. Um, this has a mod light body on it, but you can use like Arasaka stuff. Uh, obviously, Surefire caps. Uh, you can do 18350, 18650. Um, that's one of the things that always kept me away from the other mod lights competitor, we'll say. Um, which hopefully I'll be trying out one of those soon. Uh, I see Brownells now carries the cloud stuff, so we will check them out. But yeah, just awesome lights. Um, same with the PL PL350, I believe. There's a pistol light. I just recently got that. I really dig that. I've been using it a bunch out here. So yeah, just wanted to mention mod light in there too. Um, they make a, a hell of a light, that's for sure. They live next to these muzzle devices and it doesn't it doesn't affect them at all. So yeah. Alrighty guys, and that is it. That's going to be my top five um, just favorite things from the gun industry this year uh, or things that I picked up this year. Some pretty cool stuff. Um, and there's a ton of other stuff. I mean, there I could go on for hours and hours and just talk with you guys about this stuff, but we don't have that kind of time. Uh, I know my videos get long-winded to begin with, so is what it is. Um, if you got anything else, leave it down below. Anything I missed, you think? I probably did miss something. There's probably something that I'm just not thinking of that I got, and, and I just love it. But those are the ones I thought of. So uh, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video. Hit subscribe. Check out the homies down below. Check out the people that help support the channel, Brownells, Midwest Industries. Um, just hit the link tree. That's where you'll find them all. And that's it. Let me know what you think down below. Peace.